yeah, what I would do is I would edit during the day, <clears throat> and then at some time in the afternoon, I'd get out, go get the kids, drop them off at the sitters or my whoever needed to watch them, mm -hmm. and then I'd go straight from there to Long Beach. That's where the warehouse was. Okay. And it was like an old auto body place where they would paint, oh. paint their cars or whatever. And it was so dirty, dude. It was mm. like junk. What I had heard is that it had it was like a crack house for a bit or something. Oh, like wow. a meth lab. Oh. It was like a meth lab or something. Because <laughs> it had been abandoned for a while and somebody like took it over and made oh. it a meth lab. Okay. Something like that. It was a dead rat that was just rotting in the corner. It was oh. dusty. It was like you could just... You know they try I mean? to clean it up a little bit, and I think they just swept the area where the ramp was, <laughs> <laughs> and everything else was green. That's where all the tires came from, and all the like that's shit what, that was around. That's why there was car parts everywhere. Yeah, like, there was like doors and like hoods and uh, and the uh, tires. Okay, but yeah, so then I started like sh showing up every day. No, oh. that's all it was. I was just showing up. Okay, and would those sessions go into the night? Late night. You know how skating is. Yeah. We just skate until they got tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause they'd land something and take a break and go, okay, I think we could do this now. Cause it was then, all lit up. I mean, you had the lights and everything, right? Yeah. When yeah. you have full control like that, you have the keys, you can be there as long as you want. Right. Then you're going to be there as long as you want. Yeah. Sure. So we were there. I was there until they felt like it. Wow. I got to skate it with them sometimes. It was fun. It's amazing. <laughs> So it was, it was really it's a cool. Great video. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. yeah. Crazy video. Seriously. I don't think they expected it to do as well as it did. Probably not. Yeah. I remember at the end of the wrap up of that video, one of the heads of the White House production, like the coordinator lady, like, I don't think they really looked at me as somebody that could make a video. Oh. I think they really thought of me as just that, the kid in the corner that did this, you know what I mean? Like that, yeah. cause that's what I would, like I said, I was like, I needed that position. Mm. So I, I got pushed over to that mm. secondary position of yeah. just, you know? So when, uh, when it was done and they saw the reaction of it all and it was, you know, and I, I put it all together, and she goes, "Congratulations!" Oh, she no, she said something like, "Hey, you know, good job, like really good." Like she was surprised. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is a sock over here. Yeah. The Come look on. in her eye was like a surprised look. Like, good job, you did a really good. You actually did a really good job on it. Oh, I didn't say anything. I was just like, "Oh, cool." Yeah. And I, I, I was like, "Hey, I think she thinks that was my first video." <laughs> <laughs> did somebody else edit it, or did you edit no, it? I, well, you, it was a mix. That one was okay. a mix because Day One had started editing it too. Mm. And again, it was one of those things where I wanted to edit it, but Day One wanted to edit it. So he was doing it and he was like, he had most of it kind of skeletal part of it done and mm. he had most of his parts and all that done. Like his own part, he edited. Okay. But um, like, you know, cause there's like in the bonus section, like a section was just his footage. Oh. Was he doing like on iMovie? No, he, he knew how to edit. He, huh? he did it on Final Cut. Wow. But um, but I think it got to the point where it was just a little bit too much and he wanted me to do it, so I finished it off. Mm, so I think okay. he got parts of it done and I finished off like the rest of the three quarters of it. Wow. And uh, yeah, it worked. It was really good. I liked, I liked how it worked out. The songs and everything. Yeah. Everything was great. Retta being in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How was it filming those guys? Like, were they competing against each other? Like, did it seem like that when it was going on too? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, what was happening? Like, what was the, they watching the footage from you of what they had? No, oh, they were I mean, skating together. They were always there. Oh, okay. They were there together. Um, a couple of nights, there would be nights where Day One was only there. Okay. And then maybe sometimes. Haslam was only there, mm -hmm. but most of the time, like they were there together. Like when they'd set up stuff, like "Hey, let's do this." They call it the mouse trap. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like the game, the mouse trap, where yeah, something totally. goes here, then goes there, then goes in and yeah. around, yeah. and it sets one thing off. They would do that, like a tire would roll down, knock something out, and so that's they wanted to do weird stuff like that, like just set a weird like manual pad up to the wall so he can get out of the ramp and manual and come back. Yeah. Or, or just like do something so that they can roll in and use the lip as a curb, mm -hmm. <laughs> come in and grind that and then enter the ramp. Yeah. So they all those ideas to put a hippie jump bar on the top of the vert ramp of one of the in, at the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How crazy! <laughs> yeah. When he said when he said that, I didn't want to say like, hey, that's not gonna happen, or or that's crazy because I just want to do it. Let yeah. these guys do their thing. Swinging tires. The did you ever tires. did you ever give advice like, oh, you should put that that there? Or is it all mostly just them just coming Most up? Most of it was them. I might have put a little input. I just can't remember. Yeah. What a fun video to be a part of. Yeah. It was fun. Man. It was a cool time in my life. It was, I needed it. I needed to be out there filming every day again. I needed to like. You were missing that. Validation. Also the, and also the connection with the dudes. 
Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. here you are just in the office now and you, you've kind of lost that connection with the streets and filming with these guys. You always see them when they come and get bored. Sure. Yeah, I was way more connected again with Haslam because before that I wasn't always filming Haslam. Mm -hmm. Haslam would film a lot more with other filmers and uh, like a lot with like Brandon or Hoops or you know other filmers like for round three. Right. But I filmed him a lot on that video. Super cool dude. I love hanging out with him. Great mm -hmm. guy. Great sense yeah. of humor. He's just a really cool dude to yeah. hang out with. Huh. And then day one, of course. Dude, of course. The homie. You can't Sometimes. go wrong with hanging out with day one. Yeah. He's the coolest dude too. <laughs> yeah. Hell dude yeah. is cool. Yeah, but we had a lot of uh, friend invites type of thing. Like where we always try to keep it hush, though. We didn't want it to blow out to like like everyone show up. Mini you know? ramp sesh. Because if you let like a certain amount of people in, then you can't say no to others, right? Yeah. So you gotta kind of like curb that. Otherwise, that, you'll never get to skate it. That yeah. dude comes with this dude, then that dude, and then there's a whole car, and then there's three cars pulling up. Then every night people be like, "Let's go skate that ramp every night." Sure. And we Can had I get a key. But also too, I, <laughs> I feel like. That yes, I feel like that would happen. But also too, it's like day one in Chris Haslam. I feel like some skaters would be like, I'm not going there. Like those dudes are doing their thing over there, you know? Those are the smart ones. Yeah. yeah. Those are the smart ones. <laughs> but I don't know. I we just we didn't know. We didn't want to chance it. Of course. So we just went like it's it'd be better if we just kept it <clears throat> under Hush hush. hush, hush. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so we did for a while, but we would every once in a while go, you know. Like let's have somebody do somebody come over and just skate and let's film them do a one trick or two tricks. How like, long did you guys have the warehouse for? So I think it was like six months. Really? Okay. They might have had it longer, but the span of filming was like from December to June. Mm. Yeah. Like May, end of May, I think. And then June was like editing and still like last minutes and stuff. Sure. So sure. it was like six to seven months the whole Would day. they ever just get tired of just skating there? I think they might have. Yeah. I think day one might have. I mean, towards the end, you're like when you get to the point where you watch all your footage and go, damn, dude, I think I need this. And then when you think about it, you're like, I got to go back there again. Because right? yeah. after, it, yeah, it's fun. But then at the end of it all, when it becomes like really, really work, you could see the stress levels rise for mm -hmm. a second. I think those two were perfect to do that video, though, because day one is super creative, as Haslam is yep. also. Yeah, so yeah. them together coming up with these things, it's like it was just a perfect, perfect storm. What was the reason behind the name Cheese and Crackers? Okay, it wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, it was gonna, didn't they want? I think Haslam said something about this, yeah. right? Yeah. It was supposed to be something else. It was supposed to be called peanut butter and jelly. Peanut oh, butter and jelly, right. and something yeah. else was already taken or something. Again, I think it goes right back to it was uh, like a BMX thing or something like that, or oh, snowboarding. Yeah. Snowboarding, yeah. Snowboarding, yeah. snowboarding. Yeah. The contest. It was a snowboarding like contest called yeah. the Peanut Butter and Jelly Jam, yeah. and mm. they would make a video for it. So it would be competing with the name Peanut Butter and Jelly Jam as a video in the action sports category market, market or whatever. Right, and. Uh, Again, that also goes back to, we could have just named it that and probably got away with it, but mm -hmm. we're talking about Globe's White House Productions, mm -hmm. which has to have everything legit and we can't leave anything to chance. You can't just go, yeah, you know, they probably won't care yep. because they might. They might have been copyright. that part of it is what would sketch you out. So no, it has to change. Mm -hmm. You guys got to change the name. You can't call it what something else is already called. Yeah. Yeah. So... They had filmed the whole skit, even with Rada eating, put, he would slap together like peanut butter and jelly and go, oh. peanut butter and jelly. And he'd just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the whole skit was like filmed that way. It was the, the whole intro was filmed to say Chris and day one in or whatever, you know, the thing pops down and says presents mm -hmm. all that. It'll be like he knocks the, the dominoes you find down. That'd be awesome if you posted that. What? Find that intro and post it. I have it. Yeah. Oh, you do? I have oh. the footage of him saying that he's on the like he's sitting on the edge of the ramp yeah. and he's slapping peanut butter and jelly together he even knocks a few things over I think he knocked like milk over or something like that <laughs> yeah, he wow. had a glass of milk or something that's rad. that he was eating it with but yeah he slapped it all together and you know as read a style he just you know. yeah, yeah, yeah because they wanted him to say it he was supposed to intro the video he was supposed to just say it peanut butter and jelly and like that's what was going to start it but the whole thing was leading up to that it would be like almost mm -hmm. the little dominoes yeah. and then presents it wasn't supposed to present cheese and crackers. Mm -hmm. That was like a little animation that Eric Willem, the artist for Almost, mm -hmm. put together because the name was changed. Yeah, you got to change. Yeah. Huh. Who, cho who chose the name? Do you remember? Cheese and crackers? I came up with it. Did you? Wow. Just Sock. Just, Look at you. Well, because it was, <laughs> yeah. well, it was peanut butter and jelly. So we all went off thinking like, the, what's the, something that, what's, yeah. yeah. Something and something else. Yeah. This and that, this and that. And I Beer was and pretzels. Thinking, that it, was, it, could have, it could have been beer and pretzels yeah. if I thought of that, yeah. but I thought milk and cookies. She, yeah, milk and cookies could have been it. <laughs> and we ordered the milk spilled, but <laughs> you had the clip. Yeah, could have been good. They thought it was cool. Okay, and they're like, you know what, we'll run with that. And then Willem was like, yeah, you know, I can get like little blocks of cheese and cut out the name out of it. 
And we're like, that works. Yeah. Perfect. And it worked out. Cheese and crackers. And that's why it ended up being called cheese and crackers, just because it could have been called peanut butter and jelly, but these guys, I think, were too worried about... Yeah, I got to be careful. Yeah. yeah. Right. 